What causes a person to have a pleasant or painful experience? According to the Buddha, if we hold the view that it is all caused by what we have done in the past or it is being done by a god, it is considered wrong view. What is the right view? Now, it's a tough one because definitely a lot of it is the past. But karma is both past and present. So... It's, the, the point is, it's, it's not all karma, you see, because there's what you've done, and then there's the circumstances, the people around you. So, so you have past karma that you've done, and that's caused people to hate you, say. So people hate, there's people who hate you, and therefore they're causing you to suffer. But the fact that they're perpetuating it in the present is, is a part of that. So they can still choose to follow their hatred or to acknowledge it, be mindful, let go of it. And so, as an example, this is uh, a part of the cause for you to feel pain in that case. So, and if people love you, that's your past karma, that you, the good things that you've done, but uh, they may hold out or things may happen in their lives that, that change the way they uh, behave, the way they perceive you and so on. And that affects whether you experience pleasure or pain from them. So, karma is not everything. That's what the Buddha said. And, and so there was someone who held this view that karma was everything, and then it's like, well, past karma is everything. I said, well, then it's not possible to change. It's not possible to become enlightened. Or it's not possible to, it's not reasonable to practice. There's no point in practicing. It's, it's, it's a bad view to hold. I mean, one way of looking at it is, the idea of what's true and what's not true isn't the most important thing. The most important thing is, what is useful, what is practical. So even if, it's hard to get your mind around, but think of it like this, even if it were true that we had no free will and it was all determined by the past, say, which the Buddha denied, but suppose that were the case, it still would be a bad idea to hold such a view. Uh, it's ironic, you see, and, and so if anyone who held that view would be in trouble because they would be disinclined to benefit, to better themselves, and so that such a person would be more likely to suffer than a person who held the view that we can change, that we can benefit ourselves. So you see, reality according to Buddhism is a, is a bit of a slippery thing, I would say, because we don't go that step of creating theories. I've talked about this before, the, the idea of free will determinism. It, it takes an assumption of a underlying universe outside of our experience, which, uh, which can... can, can uh, can support the idea of a being who has free will or a being who is deter who, who is deterministic uh, or physical realities or or physical entities quantums uh, that that are deterministic so since Buddhism doesn't go for that um, we have some we're, we're better able to appreciate and to deal with reality you know, how to act so, because a person who's deterministic can't say, well, I'm going to better myself, because they're not really going to better themselves. Um, and they may better themselves, but they'll do so thinking that it's deterministic, and I think definitely there's a danger for these people to become complacent and to be less inclined to better themselves, more inclined to... I mean, there's something good about it, because more inclined to accept their faults, so less inclined to blame themselves. Um, so there's something there. A person who believes in free will has, has similar problems. They tend to blame themselves, to hate themselves, to, to feel frustrated when they can't change certain things. But uh, this is why Buddhism does away with both of those. So what causes, to, to directly answer your question in brief, what causes a person to have these experiences? Well, yes, so karma is a big part of it, but uh, a lot of it is past karma and, and a lot of it is present karma. But it seems like there's also some vaguely defined um, processes like natural physical processes, maybe even you could say quantum processes, uh, maybe even random elements i don't know if if that's even even valid but 
the point is not everything is karma. What, 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 what you can say is a lot of it is karma, past karma, and a lot of it is present karma. So that's where we should watch out, because obviously the rest of it is out of our control. We should cultivate those actions that are actually going to benefit us uh, in the present and be um, forgiving of our own past and of the pasts of others. So be forgiving of the past and being, being able to let go and bear with the results of our bad past karma. So, so not to become upset when bad things happen to us. We should understand that there's, there's, there's various factors that we have to take into account. Those we can affect and those we cannot change. I think that's 